All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's finally happened. The triumphant return of uh, the Rug Delver. Uh, so it took me a long time after Renin 6 was banned to finally put something together that I thought was good. And I think we have it here. The tricky part was sorting out the counterspell package and I guess exactly what I wanted in the main deck with regards to creatures. But you see most people playing two spell pierce in their lists and two force of negation. I don't think that spell pierce is very good. Uh, you just want to be playing cantrips and digging for dreadhorde and getting dreadhorde into play. And holding up spell pierce is pretty antithetical to that plan. Sometimes it is very good against the Veil of Summer or something that you know your opponent's playing that you want to beat on the stack. Um, but also, Force of Negation is going to win you games against those combo matchups. It tends to be pretty good. And also, there's a whole bunch of Vile decks right now that people like to play. And pretty much the only thing that matters in their deck is Aether Vile, which Spell Pierce doesn't typically counter very effectively. So, uh, the three Force of Negations have been pretty solid. Uh, so, yeah, I like playing the Basic Island. It goes really well with the 11 Cantrips. Uh, that's where I want to be. I am playing the Tega. Uh, you know, sometimes you're forced to fetch Basic Island turn one. And then, well, you really don't want to top deck like a green source. Like a tropical island, I mean. Because uh, then you can't play your Dreadhorde Arcanist. So we're just talking about like a hand with one land. Uh, which happens a lot. That's like the best time to fan fetch a, um, a Basic Island, typically. is Because you have like a one land hand in cantrips. You don't want to get wasted, so you lead on Basic Island. And uh, the Taiga complements the Basic Island very well. And uh, and then, so there are the hybrid builds, playing like three Dreadhorde Arcanist, and a bunch of Tarmogoyfs, and Hooting Mandrills, and some Winter Orbs in the sideboard. Uh, I kind of liked having more Green Beaters. I, know, I really like the third Hooting Mandrills. Um, like one thing about Dreadhorde is it doesn't attack through True Name very well, but Hooting Mandrills does, and just the extra threat is good, and we have all kinds of cantrips to put in the graveyard. Uh, in the sideboard, I'm not playing Sylvan Library or Winter Orb. I think Winter Orb is really good and is the best answer to Uro in Rug Colors, but it's a huge Nambo with Dreadhorde. Because uh, that's an mana intensive card. You need to keep playing your cantrips each turn. So Winter Orb just doesn't work. Um, and then Sylvan Library is... Well, it doesn't combo with Dreadhorde Arcanist. I don't really know why you wouldn't just want to run more cantrips. And this is the 11 cantrip version. Uh, yeah, so I'm just playing Clothis to close out those control matchups. We're playing some Rough and Tumbles. Return to Nature. Uh, so against Vile Decks, I do bring in Null Rod in addition to Return to Nature. I just see people in various places talking about they don't bring in Null Rod against, like, Goblins, which seems insane to me. Aside from the fact they play Relic of Progenitus in their sideboard, um... It just completely blanks the Aether Vial draw. Sometimes, you know, you force one Aether Vial, then they have more. I'm not playing Ancient Grudge. I mean, if I was, if I had Ancient Grudge, maybe I wouldn't bring in Null Rod, but, uh, yeah. And, uh, Return to Nature, I think, is pretty good. It plays, it's the overall, like, easiest way to answer Uro, I think, against Snow decks. So the sideboarding against Snow, uh... We bring in uh, these guys, if I can make it go. And then, um, all right, well, you get the idea. Clothis goes also. Um, both Clothis, Clothi. And uh, Return to Nature, if they play an Uro early, you can remove it. But they also play like Back to Basics or Blood Moon or Carpet of Flowers. Uh... And then, well, I guess I, I probably Veil of Summer comes in, too. Like, the cards I'm, like, least sure about in the sideboard are, are those two, I guess. Um, I think about having one more Surgical Extraction. 
uh, or maybe even an extra null rod. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, like depth seems like a thing that people are playing, and I also bring in the brazen borrowers and tempo mirrors. Um, all right. Anyway, well, that's uh, that's where we're at these days. I think this deck is pretty darn good, so we'll see how it goes. Right. Well, so we're on the play for round one. And I would like to play first. Alrighty. One of these hands. Well, this is going to be a keep. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty fine. So I probably am just going to lead on Tropical Island and play Ponder. And I think that will be fine. I will not begrudge my opponent if they choose to wasteland me. All right, well, that's going to be a shuffle. Show me Dreadhorde. No such luck. Cloud Post. All right. Well, you'd really like to see a Dreadhorde to find more wastelands. But unfortunately, we're not applying any pressure here. So this is uh, off to a pretty rough start. Well, we have only seen lands, so that's unfortunate. But uh, the good news is we can like force some things. A dryad. Or every basic land type. So I'm pretty darn sure that prevents me from wastelanding them can't really bolt it yeah I mean I guess I'm gonna force this well this uh, this game has just worked out brutally that is the way it goes sometimes all right so we'll play a ponder and I guess I just have to go ahead and get this Delver into play And uh, hope for a miracle here. Dryad number two. See, I don't know. It seems like a bad thing to let this resolve. Um, there hasn't been a ton of cloud post in uh, at least what I've been playing lately, and so this doesn't really seem like it affects the board all that much. So I might be making a terrible error by letting that resolve. Um, I just don't—I'm not really sure what happens when they get that into play. Well, that doesn't do much. All right, maybe we can draw a non-land. We cannot. Well, the excavator is going to have to be okay. I could like brainstorm into like three more bolts if I survive for one more attack here. So I guess I'll hope that happens. Crop rot. Okay, that's quite a bit of mana. 
that my opponent has there. Alright, well, we can just concede. Alright, well, that was a big zero that game. Hopefully, uh, this goes a bit better here. Um... So, Return to Nature can kill that Dryad. I guess forcing those was probably wrong. I guess I'll just have to let the, the Dryad resolve and see what happens. Probably Daze isn't the best in this matchup. I don't want to board out too many bolts, because uh, there are things that we want to kill. I think this is, uh, this is okay. Alright. Maybe we can do a little bit better this game. Well, I'm getting uh, cursed by my Tega this time. But this hand looks uh, pretty keepable. So I think I'm going to go down to one Dread Horde. That seems like a pretty easy decision. Let's see, more creatures. I think I can get more creatures pretty easily. I think like Force of Will or more cantrips would be ideal. Wasteland's not a bad one either. I think the whole purpose of that Dryad must be to make his lands basic and unwasteable. I think that's gotta be it. Um, I think I'm just gonna jam the Dread Horde. I don't think there's too much he can do on turn two through a daze that I'd be concerned about. And if he plays that crazy Dryad, I've got my return to nature at the ready. Once upon a time. Forest. Alright. A carpet. Alright. We can return that from whence it came. Yeah, people love to play carpet of flowers. Though, so we're getting to see the upside of Tega here. In that, uh... Tega does not care about Carpet of Flowers. I guess we're destroying Carpet of Flowers anyway. Let's see, some Force of Wills. My opponent wants to know if I played Rug when the Tega argument was huge. All right. Okay. Uh, 
Um, so I'm going to ponder here. So I think I really want to hit more cantrips. And... So we get to attack and flashback, so we'll do that. Uh, these are cards that I like. It's going to put an end to my cantripping. But we're going to be pretty far ahead with a couple forces. I guess people took it pretty seriously. Um, uh, yeah, the last time I played Tega before this was in the Kurt Ape Treasure Cruise build. Anyway, um, what do I want to do here? Uh, I could bottom both of these and just wasteland the thespian stage. I really would like to find more cantrips. I guess running out of gas on the mandrills is not a feels great thing. And I think I'm going to just yeah play the Stelver here. And uh, we'll save Wasteland, hopefully for a Cloud Post or something. We'll see what he's got here. All right. Hooting Mandrels. All right, well, that's not a terrible draw, anyway. Um, although we're out of uh, cantrips here. Um, so do I want to Wasteland? I guess so. Well, I guess not. The only thing is he could, like, crop rotation in response to my Wasteland, but he really seems like he's hurting on mana, and I guess he's going to be dead pretty soon. And I guess Thespian Stage ends up being another Cloud Post. But I've got the Force in hand. Uh... I guess I'm just going to do it. See, I don't really like to get into chats because I get distracted. Okay, well, the opponent conceded, so that worked out pretty well.
All right, I'm just saying a bunch of weird things. All right. Uh, sorry for the delay there, folks. All right. Game three, on the draw, what do I want to do? Um, yeah, let's see. I mean, days is still kind of questionable. I could maybe bring in, like, a brazen borrower over a days and bounce one of his crazy things. It's probably stupid. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I just have to run it on back here. Okay. Well, the last game uh, went pretty swimmingly on the on the play there. If I can just uh, play some cantrips into Dreadhorde Arcanist and draw some Wastelands, it should be, should be fine. All right. Well, this hand has Wasteland and Brainstorm, so pretty hard to mull again. Carpet. All right. All right, well, another Wasteland isn't bad, but I kind of just have to play this Volcanic Island and pass. I mean, I, I guess I could have just played Wasteland turn one there. Maybe that would have been more ideal. I guess I should have given it more consideration. All right, so he's gonna do some rejuvenation. To a cloud post. That's fine. Um, so I really wanna like brainstorm into a fetch here. Okay. And then uh, probably fetch Ty Kaga. Not sure what my opponent's point here is. If I'm supposed to play Kaiga in the Mongoose version, because that would be insane. All right, they're doing nothing. So, if I could draw anything this turn, that thing would be a force. Nope. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to play Oko and hope for the best here. I almost clicked through it. I gotta stay sharp, folks. Okay. That would have been unfortunate. What are we getting here? Another glimmer post. That's fine. That's fine. Hopefully my opponent doesn't slam Dark Devs, but I, th I think it's just in there to copy uh, Cloud Posts. Vesuva. All right, what's he gonna copy here? A glimmer. That's that's pretty okay. So I mean, my opponent has some things going on here, but not very much. He, I'm sure he has crop rotation. Okay, that's good to see. All right, so we're going to play Brainstorm off of this Volcanic Island. All right, those are not bad draws. Uh, so I'm going to have three cards in the graveyard. 
so I can play Wasteland and jam Hooting Mandrels and have a bunch of forces in hand. Is there any chance I play Delver next turn? Guess I don't see too much harm in just putting bolts on top. All right. Okay. All right, I've got forces on forces here. Now you'd think if my opponent had crop rotation, they would be uh, gunning to cast it. Uh, soon. Vesuva again. Okay. All right. I will proceed with an attack. Alright, so if I play Delver here, I lose access to one of my forces. I think it's best that I just don't. I mean, the game's going to end in a, in a hurry here, thanks to all these bolts. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with what I'm doing here. Six mana for a primeval titan. Alright, well this is why uh, we pack force a will. Okay, well I'd say that my opponent does not have Veil of Summer. Alright, so we're attacking for 10 here. He's down to 15. So if he has another Primeval Titan... He could get, like, two more Glimmer Posts and gain a whole bunch of life. But then I can just... Oko is Titan... And if he gets, like, cloud post type things, I don't think it really matters. Uh, and if I double wasteland him, he still has six mana to play a titan. Now, I could brainstorm here, but then I can't pitch it to force. Um, so, I think... I think I'm just going to pass... But another Titan seems survivable. Is it a green sun? Okay. All right, well, I think that's going to be the game, lads. Glacial Chasm. Okay, well, I can just wasteland that, so that doesn't matter. I 
doesn't even have any green mana for a crop rotation. Okay. Okay, uh, so for round two, uh, we are going to be on the draw, and this is a fine hand. I mean, uh, it'd be nice if they had like a force of will. Thoughtsies. All right, well, I'm definitely going to wasteland my opponent turn one. I'm still going to wasteland them. I mean, presumably, my opponent's on some kind of combo. Um, all right. Well, uh, that, uh, I wish that game went longer, because uh, that was unreasonably easy. Alright, so, how hard do I want to go in on my opponent being on Storm? On the draw, so I'm definitely going to want these Red Elemental Blasts. I mean, it's conceivable that this is all manner of thing um like saltai control plays thought sees saltai delver grixis delver um some kind of delver variant would be the most likely honestly to actually go and fetch up a dual land like that. I mean, you'd think a storm deck would be comfortable just fetching up a swamp. So that's pretty interesting. I'm pretty inclined to say that it is Delver. But I don't think I want to board out too much of my free counter magic. But Force of Negation is pretty sketchy against Delver. Compared to like Red Elemental Blast, a bunch of other things, days. It's just so questionable that he went and got an Underground Sea on turn one. Uh, and played Thought Seas. And that is one thing I hate about playing. If it is Delver, like, Thoughtseize is such a terrible card in Delver. Uh, you just can't afford to be, like, playing Thoughtseize off your non-basic like that and, and getting wastelanded like that. I guess I can definitely bring in Veil of Summer. All right, I think I'm going to go Dazeless on the draw here. Or Days Light, anyway. And... I mean, this could conceivably beat combo, maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to believe it's Delver. I'm being uh, taken for a ride here. Like Death Shadow seems pretty feasible. All right, all right. This hand is like a little sketchy, but it has some things going on. All right, well, another force is not bad. That'll be something I can pitch to my other force and lets me play this preordain. Um, hmm. I'd really like to see another land here, but I guess I'll have to go with Ponder. And well, if I get wastelanded, we'll know. Uh, 
we'll have a better idea of what we're up against here. Okay, well, it's not a watery grave, so I would consider that to be a good sign. And Basic Island suggests that it, it was combo. And this hand's pretty good. If I can just not get, like, my Veil discarded this turn. Even if it does get discarded, it's not really the end of the world. Maybe they'll get, ooh, a, a non-basic. All right, well, that's fine. He can have my Veil. I'll Wasteland him. We'll play Ponder. I mean, unless he takes Ponder. Ooh, all right. Well, that's probably a pretty good play for my opponent. I guess taking a force wouldn't be great. Uh, be curious to see what we draw here. Almost anything would be not too bad. Cantrip, Delver, Dreadhorde, Oko, and Hooting Mandrels. Not too exciting, but I believe any land would be fine. Uh, I mean, Volcanic Island would be a little boring. All right, all right. Um, so what do I want to do here? I think I want to play Misty, because if he discards again, that's fine. If he plays something that can bolt, that is fine. And then we have Wasteland next turn. All right, my opponent's not lacking on mana either, though. What will he fetch here? An Uro. Well, that is not what I expected. I am not going to lie. So it seems pretty important to force this. All right, and he's gonna walk into my Veil of Summer. Uh, do I want the Tega here? Probably not. Okay. Now I need to make a decision about whether I want a Wasteland, Tropical Island, or Badlands. Uh... He's going to be pretty far from casting Uro if I Wasteland Tropical Island. But obviously it cuts off all his black and red mana if I hit his Badlands. Um, I really don't want Uro to be cast again. But he probably does play... I mean, oh man, what can he do with like a green mana? I think I'm just going to take out the Badlands. But I'm going to play Ponder first. More cantrips. Well, I think that these are going to have to be okay. And we're going to waste his Badlands. So it must be like a dragon deck is probably what's going on, right? That would probably about explain it. Now I see. Oh, okay. Well, I, it's, it's just a crazy... I just never know what's happening. 
Alright. Well, if he goes for Uro again, I have to be able to counter it. Um, so, I could draw the Volcanic Island. Pass. There's nothing, there's no real great draw in my deck here besides Wasteland. But he only has one card in hand. Uh... So, so it's going to be like some kind of four color slow build. That's fine. Um, what do I just, what do I want to do here? I'm going to put, I really just want Wasteland. I think I might actually just shuffle and then I can like brainstorm into more action next turn. Okay. Uh, we'll see what he does here. Dreadhorde is a much more exciting draw than Delver. Okay. You know, actually, I wanted to brainstorm on my opponent's end step, so I did a, I did a poor job there. Uh... Okay, so my deck's going to bail me out. So we're going to Wasteland this turn. And then play Dreadhorde next turn, and that should be game. Yeah, we're just going to Red Blast this. and keep my opponent off of lands. Um, I am going to fetch Tega. Blast. All right, well, now my opponent's back in it. That was a timely draw of that Bayou for my opponent. So if I had waste, his last card might be like Lightning Bolt though. Uh, that's not very exciting. An Oko. Alright, well, I'm just going to jam it. And, you know, if he plays Oko, uh, a thingy next turn, at least we'll have Oko in play. All right, Petty Theft. And of course he rips the land. Um, it's not a huge deal. Well, I guess it is. It's not much chance of stopping the Uro now. But at least we know what we're up against. This should be a pretty simple matchup uh, in game three. Uh, we'll have, you know, the full set of Dazes and Clothus.
Uh, so I'm gonna jam this guy. I'm gonna make myself a dude. Oh, uh, you know, I really... <laughs> Uh, okay, I should have slowed down because I really should have made his arrow into a 3-3. That was really dumb. Alright, that's fine. Well, it probably was a terrible mistake. But we can red blast his arrow. And then, um... All right, well, that is totally cool. That means we're not getting arrowed this turn. Ooh, hooting mandrels. That's not a bad one. So do I just want to attack into this Baleful Strix? I guess I don't see a reason to do that. I could just gain control of it next turn. Is it another Baleful Strix? An abrupt decay. Okay. Um, so what am I going to do here? He's so close to dying, but he's probably just going to block the food and take four. Or I could bolt the Baleful Strix. And then he takes seven and goes to five guess I'm gonna see what I draw it's not a terrible one okay well, there's a delver and a dread horde. Okay. So I think Delver and Ponder are going back, and then I'm attacking with both. And if he does block the hooting mandrels, I can kill him. Or maybe I should just put the bolts on top. It's pretty close to dead. Um, I guess playing Dreadhorde and Delver, he's going to be pretty darn low on life. He's going to get Uro into play. Maybe Delver isn't that great. I think I'm just going to do it like this. We'll see what he wants to do. It can be blocked by Brazen Borrow anyway, so that worked out pretty well. Delver doesn't seem like it does too much more than Del uh than Lightning Bolt. Okay, well, let's see what they've got. A lightning bolt. 
Okay. So he's gonna take three. Or I could bolt his Baleful Strix and he could take four. And then he has Uro in play next turn. Now, I think I want these things to go to his dome, right? That seems like what, what needs to happen here. Because he's going to... Okay, so Uro comes back and he goes to 12, but I guess it's just not enough for me to quite kill him. I guess if I can ponder into a third bolt, but uh, that seems pretty improbable. Hmm. None of those are too helpful. Well, I can just flash back Red Elemental Blast. But yeah, Delver just gets stopped by Brazen Borrower. Mm. Not very exciting. Yeah, I think I just have to flash back the Red Elemental Blast, because I can only deal nine. So he can play Uro again, and then he's going to be pretty low on Uros. Hopefully this is like another Baleful Strix, because that card does nothing. Alright, so he's going to go for the Uro first. Something. All right, a preordain is not nothing. All right, I think uh, an AP boy is an acceptable draw.
All right. So that gets his Brazen Borrower into play. And you gotta imagine he has something else that he can sacrifice to get his Uro into play. Is it an Oko? It's not like a huge deal. Well, no, you can't do it. You can't cast Uro. Oh, now you can cast Uro. Okay! What's this? There's the Oko. Okay. So, we can double bolt Uro and then get this Oko off the board. So, I'm going to be fetching with my Tarn here just to thin my deck. What I'd really like to draw is an Oko of my own. That would be nuts. And it's not like if I attack my opponent, he just... Yeah, it's not enough to kill him. Alright, well that's not a very exciting draw. It's me every time. All right. Well, yeah, my attempts to uh, thin my deck were in vain, and my opponent has four cards in hand. I'd say it's not looking great. The upside is that Pondered, I mean, uh, Oko doesn't do a lot against us. Oko is like, he's almost charged again for Oko, unfortunately. I just had to draw a little bit better than I did. But I, I think I waffled it back there when I could have Oko'd his Uro, maybe. Yeah. See, what I really need to draw my own Oko here. That's what we need to make this happen. Another land. Not very exciting. Uh, I guess I'll attack Oko. Oh wow, he just didn't even block. Yes, my opponent has Trixes. And more Trixes. 
You can also play Uro again. He probably should have done that. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that explains it then. All right, well, I mean, I hung in there based on what I had in the sideboard. Um, hopefully I don't lose this garbage in game three here. Um... I mean, Return to Nature is kind of questionable. I don't think he's playing, like, back to basics. Sure don't want to lose to Uro, though. Like, a Return to Nature would have gone a long ways in that last game. But I'll have Clothis now. I could just cut a cantrip. Maybe just one Return to Nature will do. All right, here we go. Game three on the play. It's where we want to be. Well, I got punished twice by the Taiga in this tournament. That's a little unfortunate. All right, this hand's pretty okay, though. Um... I think I'm actually going to put back a land here. Yeah, that seems pretty obvious. Uh, my opponent mulliganed as well. All right, that's, uh, that's good. Thoughtsies. Well, that's good for my opponent. Well, I guess uh, in this kind of crazy build that my opponent has, you know, Thoughtsies obviously not uh, bad. He must be running more basics. Uh... That I anticipated, but yeah, obviously he's not playing Delvers, and it seems like a good one drop. They're trying to get like a wasteland or a red blast here. Okay, these are these are good. Should keep my opponent off balance. All right, we'll play Dread Horde next turn. That uh, will be in pretty good shape. Okay, I like how this is going. Okay. And there's a brainstorm. So if he just plays like a Baleful Strix next turn, I mean, that's fine. Uh, if he abrupt decays like Dread Horde or Fatal pushes it, not in terrible shape. Bolt. Okay. Mm, he's at such a low life total. All right, here we go. Ooh, those are cards.
Well, I have to like get Clothis into play next turn. So I guess I'm gonna bottom hooting mandrels. I mean as long as he doesn't have like another Thoughtsies. Okay, let's see what he's got here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and fetch here. Alright, Clothis, do your stuff, man. Okay. Well, now I feel pretty good about where this game is headed. Tarmogoyf. Well, that's fine. Okay, so I can exile... What do I want to exile? Nothing too kills him too quickly here. Or low, shrinks the goyf. But, so there's one, two, three sorceries. Two creatures. I guess I have to go after my... No, there's three creatures. So I might as well just take the thing I want the most... It's probably like Brainstorm. Alright, well my hand kind of stinks right now. It doesn't do very much against Oko. Okay, that's fine. Down with the Strix. Another Strix. A Plague Engineer. This matters so little, but what else am I going to daze? Ugh. All right. Well, I'm really going to have to gut this out here. I can see. But I just have to survive for a couple more turns. Ugh. Man, if only I had, like, a red blast or, like, anything besides another daze. Okay, that doesn't do anything, so that's fine. Um, so it grows as goif if I return that thing to nature. But it does so little with the amount of life that he has. I guess I can just um, exile it with my clothes. Yes, okay. All right. And that's how we do it, boys. All right, so for round three, I'm going to go first. And I think this hand is fine. We'll probably draw a cantrip at some point here. If I get wastelanded, at least we've got like a force. Ha! <laughs> 
And I have a wasteland too. Well, I think my opponent's deciding if they want to wasteland me. They're just going to discard. A Golgari Grave Troll. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that works out well for my opponent, obviously. But that was a good draw for us, so that's good. Alright, we gotta get him dead here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and daze the Lion's Eye Diamond. Gemstone Mine. Faithless Looting. This cantrip's doing work. Okay, so we'll start with a preordain. Hooting mandrels. Um so if I draw hooting mandrels, there's no way I can get into play this turn. Uh because I'm gonna end up with three cards in my graveyard. And nothing. Uh, but man, Hooting Mandrel sure swings for a lot, though. But it's going to just end my cantrip engine. This is a tough decision. Um, so I could, like, draw a Scalding Tarn. And then draw Hooting Mandrels. Okay, no, it does work. Because I can sack Scalding Tarn. Yeah, okay. Alright, never mind. We're playing Hooting Mandrels this turn. Right? One, two, three, four, five. And then the mana gets a six. Okay. Put on top. Put on top. Oh, I already played a land this turn. I'm a, re I'm not smart, folks. All right. Well, we'll just have to get Hooting Mandals into play next turn. I guess it'd be pretty good if I could uh, just time walk like that and play all the lands that I wanted. Um. So do I still like drawing Hooting Mandals? I mean, probably since I'm going to wasteland them. Okay. Well, it was during my attack step, that's why I couldn't play a land. But I had already played a land. But uh, my opponent has a careful study after all that. Well, that's a uh, that's tough, but um, maybe this dredge doesn't go super well. Okay, well he hasn't. So he's got like a cabal therapy, but he hasn't hit any Icarids or other things yet. So maybe this is uh, winnable, especially if we get like a bolt here. All right, not super exciting. All 
All right. Well, we need to draw like a bolt or have my opponent brick pretty hard. Is uh what it looks like here. But he won't be able to get Ikrid into play this turn. So if he just misses on Narco Amiibo. Ooh. I think I somehow survived. I mean, he'll need, uh... He needs, like, another careful study. Yes! Okay. Uh, that's exciting. Yeah, Dredge, uh... I mean, we only play two surgical extractions in two return to natures. Man, a lot of, uh, crazy tight matchups we're playing today. Good heavens. Alright, on the draw here. Uh... Well, Oko's pretty slow. Uh, return to the date, return to nature is not too exciting, as you might expect, but sometimes it's just enough. And then they also play Silent Gravestone. Yeah, Oko's definitely too slow. Uh, Rough and Tumble can get you out of some wacky situations, but I'd rather just, you know, have Bolt for my opponent's dome. I guess Daze is a little uninspiring. On the draw. So maybe I'll just go with a Chain Lightning. Like, Chain Lightning at Putrid Imp can sometimes be just the thing. Alright. Alright. So the 2x Force Hand, I think, is okay against Dredge. Especially if he mulligans. It doesn't seem like he's snap keeping. Alright, we'll try this against his 2x. Mulligans to 5. 4. Okay. Alright, opponent, what have we got? A lion's eye diamond. So we're going to force this. I mean, I could just let it resolve. No, we're forcing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if he just like discards his hand and there's dredgers, we don't want that to happen. And we're going to force that too. So land ponder versus wasteland. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and wasteland here. He's probably gonna like hit his draw step, and we definitely don't want him to play another looting effect. Come on, don't do anything. All right, that's what we like to see. Here we go. So these cards don't interact right away. But I mean, Brainstorm's what you want to see with Dreadhorde. And he didn't do anything last turn. So... It's a little slow, but I think it'd be pretty greedy to shuffle this. Hopefully he does nothing for one more turn. Yes, okay. Then we'll get Dreadhorde into play, and then that should about wrap it up, I would expect.
If he does do something crazy, there's always a chance I could hit like surgical extraction. Whew. All right, this is going to be pretty easy then, I would expect. So I think I want to brainstorm. I'm drawing a fetch land, I believe. I'm fine putting back those. So we'll go for Ponder here. An AP boy. Well, these cards are going to kill my opponent pretty darn fast, so I think this is all good. Even though I would like uh, something slightly more controlling. But yeah, we'll have a Flip Delver and this Hooting Mandrels. And uh, Flashing Back Bolts. Hopefully that gets there. Okay, there's a fiery islet. It's too bad I did not draw days, but I think that these are pretty good. So we've got 8 and 16 is how much damage we can do next turn. Return to nature just doesn't... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think return to nature is going to do it here. Because I have not played a land this turn. And then I can just... Uh... Yeah. Draw the return to nature and draw the land. And I've got the green man and everything to play it, so I think this is a foolproof plan. Whew, okay. All right, and you didn't think that Return to Nature was good enough against Dredge. All right, he'll need something pretty incredible if, if he wants to win this turn. Okay. He doesn't have any dredgers in his graveyard, so I think that's good. 
breakthrough, right? I don't think that really does anything. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. All right, so it's uh, round four against Twinless Twin on the draw. And uh, we have some Delvers and some Cantrips and a Counterspell. So we're just going to try not to get turn one here. See, once again, I sure wish that I could draw a uh, Force of Will from time to time in my opener, but what are you going to do? I guess I got two of them in the clutch against Dredge. Don't see any reason not to fetch the basic island here. On the draw, getting wastelanded can be pretty brutal, so this is good. A Delver Mirror, this is going to be like the first like normal match I've played all day here. Force of Will, pretty good draw for our opponent. He's going to get in for three. And uh, what do we got here? Brainstorm. Uh, I think I just have to let that go. As tempting as it is to daze. All right, Scalding Tarn. I'll find out what their second color is. It's green. And another Delver. Yeah, I think I just have to let that resolve here. All right, well, I've only drawn lands this game, which is a little irritating. But what are you gonna do? Um, so I'm gonna attack with Delver. Uh, I'm going to play a Ponder. Well, I really want this Brainstorm. It's a little unfortunate the way I have to shuffle this, but... I had to play around D's. Um, okay, so we'll fetch here. Grab a volcanic and we'll play a Delver. Alright. It's good work by my opponent flipping both their Delvers. So I probably have to brainstorm on my upkeep here. He plays Dreadhorde. Yeah, well, we're just on the draw, and this can happen. There's not, not much I can do about uh, everything going perfectly for my opponent. All right, there's not much that can get me back into this game, unfortunately. And that ain't gonna do it. I 
not really in a position to be wastelanding here. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just terribly, uh, terribly boned. I think it's just time to scoop. They can do nine damage next turn. I guess I could force their bolt. Okay. I think on the draw, I'd probably cut an Oko for a Brazen Borrower. Or I could just go down to Tube Force. Forcing is pretty good. All right, I think we'll do this. Brazen Borrower, just buying time against Dreadhorde can be pretty good. I don't really love Clothis in the mirror. Um, I think that Oko tends to be better. I mean, it loses to Pyroblast, but Clothis just doesn't really impact the board like Oko. And if you can just sneak into an Oko, it just wins the game. But if you're like behind on board, yeah, Clothis does nothing. Maybe I will just um, two Oko three force. I think I think I like that better. Seems more reasonable. Okay. All right, I'm just going to go Tropical Island, Delver. Getting a waste, it's not a huge deal here. This hand is a little unexciting. Um, but, you know, you can't go wrong with Forest Bolt, Delver. I guess it's missing a cantrip. Uh, maybe my opponent will waste me. That would be fine with me. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, well, I've drawn, like, land, like, every turn against this deck <laughs> in this match, but that's alright. Um, yeah, I think uh, I'm just going to sit back and try and get the scry if I can. All right. Uh, we'll take a red elemental blast. All right, what do we want to do here, opponent? We want to do nothing. All right, Dreadhorde, not a bad draw. All 
I guess we'll see if he's playing Stifle. He is not. That seems like a fine one to Red Elemental Blast. He's gonna force, okay. Um, yeah, that's fine with me. So if I draw a blue card on my turn, it's pretty darn likely I can just ram this Oko through. And uh, I didn't have anything to flash back anyway, so. Uh-huh. Two mana, Dreadhorde Arcanist, sure. Alright, well, I think um, I just have to chain lightning the Dreadhorde and play Preordain. I guess I'll Preordain pre first. Brazen Borrower, Brazen. Yeah, I guess that's not a bad one. Yeah, these will probably win the game. That's fine. Okay, so we should be able to just ram Oko through here. Tarmogoyf. Hoping for something here. Lightning Bolt. Yeah, so I think I just want a Brazen Borrower. Or Petty Theft, I mean. All right, that's gonna about do it, I'd have to imagine. Okay. All right, well, here's the big question, ladies and gentlemen. Can I win a Delver matchup on the draw? Um, let's see. Probably don't want to change the days and force configuration. It is good to know that he's on Tarmogoyf, and it definitely makes me want both of my brazen borrowers. It means that Oko's pretty good. But going up to three Oko's pretty sketchy. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run it back. All right, here we go. Hmm. Well, this hand is all kinds of questionable. I 
I mean, it's got wasteland. But man, no cantrips. Ugh. I mean, this is a hand that just loses to wasteland. It's a pretty questionable draw keep on the draw here. I think it's probably a pretty 50-50 decision to keep our Maldus. My opponents spend a long time thinking about it, which means they probably have a hand that loses to Wasteland also. And I have a couple extra draw steps. Um, I guess I gotta keep and just hope that I draw something in the first couple turns. I mean, this hand is great if I draw... Uh, it's pretty. This is pretty questionable. Uh huh. He's doing nothing. Interesting. All right. Well, we're gonna lead off on Force of uh, Wasteland, but Force of Will is not a bad, not a bad draw. I like that. Yeah, we'll have to let him brainstorm. So if I could draw like a cantrip or a land on my turn, I would be so happy. Okay. All right. Okay, well, he didn't waste land me right away, so that's exciting. Show me some love. Wow. No such luck. Well, I guess I... I don't know. That's like a, a tough decision with that opener. I, I guess it's just a mulligan. I guess the land plus tropical island obviously is uh, not enough. Like having one green source be your land, you really want it to be your red... Um, all right, so the opponent wants to double days here. Well, if I draw a red source, it's going to be fine. And if only I, uh, I don't know. Come on, show me that red source. We'll be right back in this game. It's pretty disappointing. Oh, man. Man, if I still draw a red source, it would be okay. But, I don't know. Well, I'm sorry, folks. I feel like I let us down with that keep, I guess. But I, if it was like a volcanic island, I suppose that would have been fine. Um... Wow, he's going to make... Oh, he's switching it up like that, I see. Okay. Well, all is pretty much lost here, folks, if we don't draw land like right now. Okay. Um... Okay, so the Dread Horde has to go. All right, true to form, my Delvers are not flipping. 
petty theft. All right, well, that's pretty good for my opponent. A wasteland. So, do we want to just jam Oko here? It's probably my best chance to win. I think I have to get a bit greedy. <sighs> All right, folks. Ah, Oko number two. Well, that's pretty good for my opponent. Okay. So we get this off the board. We waste his chop. Um All right, well we kind of stabilized a bit here. Come on, bottom, bottom. If he's thinking about it, it's probably a sign that he likes at least one of them. The spell snare in my opponent's hand isn't too awesome. All right, bottom, bottom. All right, we'll trade some food. I could draw like a, hmm. I guess the spell snare is good. Hopefully he like jams a Tarmogoyf. That would be sick. Okay. So we can keep these. Oops. Play brainstorm. Double days. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe some something could happen here. We're gonna get brazen again. We are not. But if he has like double dread horde or a single dread horde, and there's a time ago. Well, I have to give this the old double days. And if only I had a two drop to jam here. Um, yeah, I think I just have to pass. 
gonna play Brace and Bioware. I'm gonna have to brainstorm a response anyway, I suppose. Another time ago, if. All right, well, that's not the end of the world. If I get my other Hooting Mandals into play. Whoops. So that's going to be three. Yeah, there's just no way for me to get this other... So I can bolt. Is Tarmogoyf and block it. And then maybe Red Elemental Blast. There's just no way to get Hooting Mandrels into play. Yeah, if it was Tarmoglyph, well, I'd be playing through Spell Snare here. So I just have to like lightning bolt this Tarmogoyf. Lightning bolt. Red Elemental Blast Delver. Lightning bolt Tarmogoyf. And just hope that he has nothing. But. I don't even. I can't. Uh... I'm going to need to daze the Brazen Borrower. So. Alright. I guess the plan is to bolt Tarmogoyf and block it. And then Daze the Brazen Borrower. And, uh... Yeah. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so we're going to have to daze that. I, I think I have Hooting Mandrels on top here, right? Oh, okay. Man, I really don't understand. Oh, I guess, yeah, you want to get his mana out. All right, well, then um, I just lose. All right, well, folks, uh, yeah, I... Uh, you can't keep the one tropical island hand, I would have to say, uh, in that kind of hand. Uh, yeah, I'm still finessing playing this deck, it's, uh, but I guess it uh, should have been a little more obvious. I didn't really have a, a huge chance to win. The hand was pretty questionable. I mean, we almost kind of got there. Is it going to let me draw the cards? It's not. All right, well, we'll try it in a match uh, round five here. Okay. Uh, so it's round five, and we are on the play. And we're going to be mulliganing. All right, this hand seems fine.
right, so they're keeping. We'll put back an AP boy. We'll start with a tropical island. The old double delver. Yeah, I think uh I think that's okay. So we'll jam a couple delvers here. Lotus petal, interesting. A land grant. Okay. Yeah, I definitely can't do anything about any of this. Seething song. So... You can't activate this turn. But I can't, uh... <laughs> I can't stop it. Well, I guess I can daze it to survive a one turn. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think there's much I can brainstorm into here. Yeah, that is not going to cut it. Alright, well, the good news is I think this matchup's pretty good. Uh, I guess, um... I think this kind of fast-acting Delver, or Belcher, is actually pretty good. Just because it, uh, gets in under... Uh... Dread Horde pretty well. So we got some Echoes, some Burning Wishes, some Tinder Walls. Come on now. All right. does run some empties. Man, a lot of things. You, you could have like Xanted Swarm, Empty the Warrens. So the forces are good. Probably Dreadhorde's really the weak link here. I think it's just too slow. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't played against Belcher in some time, but I should be able to do this. The seven forces are usually quite good. All right. I would like to play first. All right, I think this is going to be okay. Let's see if we can't get young Gert here. I guess I would... Let's go ahead and ponder. 
I think these cards are good enough. Oko's like some kind of win con, but also beats up on his Belcher. All right, so he's got two, three. All right, so it's a uh, it's a Xantid swarm empty the Warrens type affair. Uh huh. Okay, so we've got like return to nature on top, and then Oko. So I have to force this. It's probably just force pitching preordain and then hold up the double dazes. Obviously, it makes my uh, dazes better. And then, uh, yeah, I just got to uh, get this Oko into play next turn. And hope that it works. Elvish Spirit Guide. Well, that's going to get the daze. All right. All right, obviously that's an exciting draw. So I'm going to get the Tega just to mess with them. I mean, it probably doesn't matter. But they might wonder what's up more. Okay. So if I can like survive this turn and maybe draw like a blue card next turn or a wasteland or cantrip, that would all be good with me. You know, I guess I could have let my opponent ritual twice last turn and daze the second one. All right. All right, come on, deck. Something good, please. Blue card. I guess maybe Veil of Summer would stop a Belcher activation for a turn. And maybe surgical is not that bad. All right, my opponent's going to make me sweat it out here. A rough tumble. Okay, well, that's not bad. So I can just save my force for something good. We 
might be a hard casting force here, so I'm just gonna play out these lands. Burning Wish is what he wants to get. Uh, man, what could he get that would really make me regret, like, dazing this? A gamble. All right. All right, so do I want to get greedy and play Ponder here? I guess probably not, because if he wants to get, like, LED and do his thing... I mean, I can just force it, and then, like, days of Ale of Summer if that happens. Yes. Yes. I don't think there's much my opponent can do here. You'd have to have... Because his hand has got to be... Um, empty, empty, plus... We discarded an empty. Uh, so maybe like right of flame. Empty echo. And then we can just force this. And that should about do it for this game. Okay. Alright. So here I am in the draw on game three. And it's for all the marbles, folks. I don't think it's going to be worth bringing in Veil of Summer. Brazen Borrower is arguably better than Hooting Mandrels. Is there anything else I want to do? 
don't really want to cut an island. I mean, days is less good, but it might be what I need on the draw. I'm probably okay with just two hooting mandrels, or I mean one. We've got rough for his... Uh, goblin tokens and brazen borrower bouncing char belcher just might do it and it's a win con surgical could do it seems pretty questionable though maybe i'll cut it a single days for a surgical all right let's try that All right, come on. I gotta, uh, gotta get this four and one here. Come on. Well, this hand's a whole lot of nothing. At least I won't be duped into keeping a stupid hand like in the last round in the mirror in game three. They're keeping. All right, well, got a mulligan. Ugh. Well, I think it's definitely too slow. Damn. No forces and 21 cards. Going to four is pretty brutal. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to keep this. And try not to get turn one. Oh yeah, he skips the draw on the play. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't mulligan too much lower. Now what I need is my deck to cooperate with me. Ugh. Well, we still have time to like cantrip into a rough and tumble if he goes for like an empty line. And then maybe I can also bounce like a uh, goblin charbelcher. And then um, if he plays Echo of Eons, well, that's another seven cards with a shot at you know getting me um, uh, force of uh, force of wills. Okay. What's this? So I could Brazen Borrower is Chrome Mox. I think I have to like ponder for something. Man, you have got to be kidding me. All right. Um...
If he does nothing like one more turn, I can pretty easily justify playing Brazen Borrower on that Chrome Mox. Man, if I could... I don't know, I can't imagine how I'm going to survive this turn. Yeah, that's fine. Ugh. Saint Spirit Guide, Goblin Char Belcher. Damn. Well, I don't know. We are hoping for a miracle here, folks. Well, I just didn't hit a single force, but I mean, he probably has Veil of Summer anyway, but I can't believe I didn't hit a single force in 14... I guess 28 cards, seven forces. It's pretty frustrating. Yeah, it just doesn't. It uh, it's fine. Whatever. I guess I could have dazed the thing and see if he paid. All right. All right, well, um, just by way of wrap up here. Um, so, I mean, that was pretty frustrating losing to Belcher. But, you know, I think it shows, well, it certainly supports the seven, uh, seven uh, counter seven force theory i think i mean i guess i could have had one more spell pierce but i don't know i just need to find force negation like off that brainstorm the spell pierce wouldn't have gotten it done there um and then against delver so i mean that was like a hybrid delver we were playing against it had a couple of copies of tarmogoyf and i think tarmogoyf's not bad but i mean you start playing tarmogoyfs and you have to cut back on your cantrips and your dreadhorde arcanist which uh is what really makes the deck tick so uh yeah i, did, I didn't didn't play good enough in match three obviously and i did not uh draw any forces in uh games one or three against belcher but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I think I think the theory is well upheld, and obviously a three and two is a positive win percentage. Um, so yeah, we'll upload this. I think this uh, deck though is pretty darn close to what I want it to be. Um, we did have a nice win against Dredge. I guess maybe I mean maybe it's not that great of a win. Uh, well, that that's a place where the seven forces panned out pretty well there. Uh, Dredge is a match that I worried about. Just I wondered if two surgicals was enough, but I'm, I'm 2-0 against Dredge with this version of the build, uh, you know, just playing the two Surgicals and the two Return to Natures, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, Clothis uh, did some work there. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think this build's pretty darn close to what I want it to be. Um, so yeah, I hope that was informative. Uh, I'm going to keep jamming these leagues here. Uh, now that I've got really got a build that I like and think can win, uh, you'll probably, uh, I'm going to try to be uploading more. So I hope, uh, you guys maybe enjoyed some of this video. Um, thanks for watching. All right.